hello and welcome back to my channel it's chidi here again and today i am going to show you two ways that you can use to create outlines on your images if you have seen youtube thumbnails that have outlines around them and you've ever wondered how to do that yourself don't worry i am going to show you how to do it using canva so let's get right to it so let's just head up to our a4 document here okay and we are just going to get an image to use for this project now you have a couple of options you can decide to use the photos on canva or you can decide to upload your own images okay so i've got a couple of images here already but i'm just going to show you how you can get your images so we are going to head on to our pexels.com website which is a free a uh, stock free photo website and we'll click on puppy you can click on any um, image idea you have so this is a puppy that we are going to use for this tutorial now um, we are going to now head on to our remote.bg website which is a free website it has a paid version of course but you can use a free version to remove the backgrounds of your images okay so we have this image here just going to open it up now and automatically that website just removes the background for you as you can see it's done that without me needing to clean anything or do any work so this is a brilliant brilliant tool and i highly recommend it okay so we're just going to download that image now then we'll head back into canva i've already uploaded this picture here but of course, I will just show you how to do that again. So just go to your downloads um, options and you can see that image here. Okay, so we're just going to click on that image and it has appeared on our A4 file. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do this, to create this effect for your pictures. Okay, for the first method, we are going to duplicate this image and we're going to do that by clicking on the Alt key and holding down our control button and there you have it we've got a duplicate alternatively you can just click on the image go to copy and then click on the on the page and go to paste now these all do the same thing so the next thing we'll do is to change the background of this work we are doing just so we can see the outline when we create it okay and then we'll head on to increasing the size of our image okay will increase the size of one of these pictures because that would be the picture we'll use as the outline now we have done that we are going to head over to effects and whilst that is loading up we're just going to scroll down to dual tone and you can choose any of these options here so we're going to choose cherry cherry is taking some time to load up but yes this is cherry <laughs> so now we're just going to click on the controls option here you can see these two colors here we're going to change them to white so this one is going to be changed to white and this one to white as well and then we're going to click on apply now you can play around with the intensity if you don't want it to be too white you can do that but let's just leave it at one okay then click on apply now the next thing we'll do is to go to our right click button and then click on send backwards as you can see it's already looking like an outlined image okay so we're just going to alter this image just adjust it so that it fits the larger image that we've already created earlier okay so just play around with the dimensions a little bit just see what you can come up with so this is one way that you can create your outline for your images the next method I will show you is my personal preferred um, favorite because it's quicker and um, I feel like it does a cleaner work but this one works as well okay so we'll just head on to add page and then click on the image again now the next thing we would do is to go to effects then we will head on to shadows now if you cannot find your shadows option on your Canva, just head over to where you have some of these effects um, here down here usually you'll find them down here and you can click on shadows and just um apply and then it just becomes part of the options that you have here okay 
so we are just going to click on glow okay and you can see there's an effect on the dog already now you can play around with the blurry notion if you want it to just be a shadow like as if the dog has a shadow you can do that if you also just want it to be sharp you can do that as well i want ours to be sharp so we'll leave it at zero then for the transparency we'll go to a hundred of course you can still play around with these numbers here and then for the size we can leave it as it is or just increase it a little bit then we can change the color to whatever color we like if we want white or yellow or red or green but i think i want white for this project okay and so we can just increase the size a little bit more um, as well and send the blur backwards increase the size a little bit yes and then click on apply and there you have it we have a perfectly aligned outlined image <laughs> that's a lot of words <laughs> outlined aligned but yeah you can see the difference this one is evenly spaced and the images um they just look more evenly spaced out um but this one of course you can still play with the dimensions a bit more to get the exact outline but i feel like the second option is just quicker straight to the point and makes your life easier and that's all we want isn't it <laughs> so yeah that is how you can create outlines around your images on canva as you can see i am using the free canva version so you can do this as well you do not necessarily have to have the paid version to do it okay so i think this is a great tool canva is such a great tool to play around with and i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial today if you did please give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel for more creative content thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video take care of yourselves and see you later